Hi everyone, it's Teresa here with Homeschool Primer. In a previous video, I discussed what we would be using for our 2020-2021 um, school year as far as our homeschool curriculum. And one of the items is the Horizon Free Algebra. And I wanted to, to open this up and kind of show you what's inside. But before I do that, I wanted to do a review on what we actually were just using, uh, Horizons Math 6, um, and we're still kind of continuing to go through a little bit more over the summer. And here is it's two books. Um, book one looks like this, Horizons Math Book 1, and Book 2. And then, of course, it also comes with the teacher's guide. So I'm going to open this up and just show you what I like about this curriculum and why we continue to use it, and then also um, what I don't like about it, and uh, just some small areas I wish um, that I could change. But other than that, uh, it's it's been a great curriculum for us, and I want to just open it up and let you take a look. All right, let's do that. Okay, everyone, this is Horizons uh, Math 6. This is book one. And we're going to just take a look inside. So what I like about Horizons is that you are presented with um, a new concept initially here when they start the lesson. Um, they're presented with the, the new math concept for that day. And um, they're able to work through, they show them the examples and we'll work through it. And then underneath that new concept will be problems that the student will work out themselves here based on this new concept. And then if you follow through with the rest of the lesson, it's going to be review of, of things that have already been discussed or things that the student should already know. Um, what I like about this is, as you can see, it's very colorful, it's very organized, um, the lessons build upon each other, and um, the worksheet material is, is very thorough. So this would be this complete lesson here, and then it starts a new lesson. Um, as you can see, I'll show you here too, this is actually, it's, it's Christian-based, um, so you will see scripture throughout. Here's, you know, they have to basically fill out um, use the bank below the data bank to fill in the picture and then it reveals obviously someone praying. There's some that have scripture. Um, I think I was just on one that was like that. Oh, here we go. Um, so they will reference scripture that the student can then go and take a look at as well. So what I don't like about this, and let me turn to a different section here is there is, they don't give you a lot of room to work the problems. So for instance, if you're working um, multiplication, so look at this. So this is, you know, it's a five digit multiplication times five digits. And there's just not enough room to do this. And this is kind of throughout the book. It's not just for this particular page, but for their division, long division and some other problems, they just don't give them enough room to write everything down. So they do have to use the scratch paper, extra piece of paper, but that's, I mean, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal, but I would, I do wish they would give them a little bit more room. Um, and then also, um, I wish there was more of a cumulative review. Um, there is tests, they do have tests for each section. But a cumulative review, I think, would be, so here's this test here um, for this previous section, which usually is about two pages. And I just wish that the cumulative review would help, you know, to kind of reinforce some of these topics that haven't been discussed or used um, as frequently. So let me show you two. So this is the, this is the teacher's guide. And this is how it's laid out. So, for instance, this is lesson uh, 159, 160. 
and it'll tell the teacher basically this is what we're covering these are the concepts uh, for this one it's traveler's checks and money orders and um, type of operation average monthly expenses prime numbers divide decimals um, convert pints to gallons and divide larger decimals and then they'll go into the objectives what does the student need to know by the end of this lesson and then some tips they'll give you you know some small tips here and there um, to how to help you um, teach um, and help the students and then also they'll give you what materials the students going to need for that particular lesson and then um, uh, activities as well um, I wish there was just a little bit more on this, a little bit more, I don't know, um, examples maybe, but other than that, I think it's it's laid out pretty well. Now here are, the this is the answer key, and so they have answers for all lessons, um, unless the student is, if there's one that they have to come up with an example on their own, um, then they would just say that, you know, um, there's no answer for that. It's um, you have to work it out yourself and see if the student got it correct. Um, but uh, I like this. Uh, I love having everything here so I can grade it pretty quickly. Um, some of these though, like for instance, here, um, you had just have just the answers. There's no, you know, how did you arrive at that answer? Sometimes it's good to have an explanation in case you know, it's been a while since I've had this material or if it's um, an answer that we're kind of like, well, I don't know, I got a different answer. Is this right? Um, it would be good to see it worked out on paper, but, but we have really enjoyed Horizons and we look forward to the pre-algebra Horizons for the upcoming year. Um, that's our review today. Thank you for joining us and please subscribe to our YouTube page for more. Have a great day.